Welcome to InfoPie, my amazing viewers. What if I told you there's a food item lurking in your kitchen often considered more perilous than the notorious sugar? Brace yourself because today, we're delving into the dark side of our daily diet, the often underestimated villain, vegetable oil. The very term vegetable might mislead you, as these oils are predominantly derived from seeds rather than actual veggies. The usual suspects include soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, canola, peanut, rice bran, and cottonseed oils. Stick around as we uncover the secrets behind these seemingly innocent kitchen staples and explore why they might be the worst food in human history. But before we dive into the danger zone, it's crucial to note that not all oils and fats are created equal. Later in the video, we'll unravel the mystery behind what makes certain fats hazardous and discover healthier alternatives. So, let's embark on this eye-opening journey together. Let's begin by understanding what vegetable oils really are. Contrary to the name, these oils are often extracted from seeds and grains in an energy-intensive industrial process. While non-existent for the majority of human dietary evolution, vegetable oils have become ubiquitous in processed foods, restaurant cooking, and even in products like alternative milk, they are used extensively due to their low cost and high smoke points. Now, the big question, is vegetable oil really bad for you? Here are some fast facts. Rates of chronic inflammatory diseases have increased by a staggering 700% since 1935, with six in 10 Americans suffering from chronic inflammatory diseases today. Vegetable oil, accounting for 20% of our daily calories, has played a significant role in this surge. Despite improvements in lifestyle factors such as reduced smoking, alcohol consumption, and increased exercise, the prevalence of chronic diseases continues to rise. The shift towards vegetable oils aligns with mainstream health guidelines, but the correlation between increased vegetable oil consumption and the surge in chronic diseases is striking. The Israeli paradox adds an interesting twist. The Israeli diet, often promoted as healthy, is low in total and saturated fats, with a higher intake of polyunsaturated fatty acid-rich vegetable oils. Despite aligning with nutritional recommendations, their rates of cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, and cancer are comparable to the U.S. This raises questions about the role of omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids in driving negative health markers. Research suggests that the inflammatory nature of these oils might be the driving force behind this paradox. Most vegetable oils contain high levels of linoleic acid, a member of omega-6 fatty acids, a precursor for pro-inflammatory molecules. This acid is the starting point for a biological pathway that creates over 20 pro-inflammatory eicosanoids, triggering chronic inflammation and autoimmune diseases. Without a counterbalance from omega-3 fatty acids, these effects can lead to various health issues. The evidence linking vegetable oils to cancer is compelling, whether it's oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, or genetic damage. The mechanisms through which these oils contribute to cancer growth are multifaceted. In a 2009 study, mice-fed linoleic fatty acids demonstrated metastasis, spread of cancer, four times higher than those fed healthier fats. Combining data from different studies, it suggested that deep fried vegetable oil may cause 1600% greater cancer growth than healthy saturated fats from animal sources. Vegetable oil consumption emerged as a significant predictor of death, surpassing the risks associated with sedentary lifestyles and even heavy drinking. In a major 2013 study, the group consuming vegetable oil had a 62% greater all-cause mortality rate over seven years. Surprisingly, vegetable oil was shown to be more deadly than a sedentary lifestyle and heavy drinking. Every 5% increase in calories from vegetable oils is equivalent to the risk of smoking seven cigarettes a day. It raises critical questions about the long-term consequences of our dietary choices. Despite the belief that replacing saturated fats with vegetable oil would lower heart disease risk, Studies like the Minnesota Coronary Experiment found the opposite, a higher risk of heart attacks among those who increased their intake of corn oil and margarine. 
The classic rose corn oil trial from 1962 showed dramatic increases in cardiac events and a 364% increased risk of death. The paradoxical outcomes in studies challenge conventional wisdom about the benefits of replacing saturated fats with vegetable oils for heart health. The Minnesota coronary experiment and the rose corn oil trial offer compelling evidence that questions the prevailing dietary recommendations. Vegetable oil's influence extends to mental health. Studies show links to depression and cognitive disorders. In a 2020 study, soybean oil consumption was linked to weight gain and triggered gene dysregulation associated with neurological disorders. Additionally, vegetable oil can negatively impact fertility by causing inflammation and gene signaling issues. The intricate connection between diet and mental health comes to the forefront. Evidence suggests that vegetable oils might not only contribute to physical health issues, but also play a role in mental well-being. Furthermore, the impact on fertility raises concerns about the broader consequences of widespread vegetable oil consumption. Finally, let's talk about weight gain. Studies indicate that polyunsaturated fatty acids from vegetable oils can lead to rapid fat accumulation. When considering the totality of evidence, it's clear. Vegetable oil certainly is a bad choice. Now let's talk about some healthier choices. These include olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, butter, and ghee, clarified butter. These fats and oils are considered healthier options compared to some vegetable oils because they contain a higher proportion of monounsaturated or saturated fats and are generally more stable at higher temperatures. Additionally, they may have other beneficial compounds such as antioxidants. It's important to note that while these fats and oils can be part of a healthy diet, moderation is key. Individual dietary needs may vary, and consulting with a healthcare professional or nutritionist is recommended for personalized advice. It's crucial to make informed choices about what you consume. If you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more eye-opening content.